Good afternoon, it's Hamble at Home, explaining to you how to do this week's assignment, Speed and Fitness, Day 2, or Speed and Endurance. They both follow the same kind of flow and progression, I just want to explain it. So today is going to be a little bit different than normal because we are going to be making, we have some videos to watch, and the video of me drumming is also going to show you how to do it. So there is no Google Form today, so if you want to want, click on the Buncee. Buncee will give you the kind of the content and explain it to you. If you want to just peruse that and just look at it, and it has all the videos. What's also good about the Buncee is that it has a text speaking feature so that you can play it. This is all the screens on it. Here's a cool music if you want to listen to it. You click on the button with this little arrow, this little red teaching point. I can make my body healthier while fitness drumming using different types of speed objective. So that's what's great about the Buncee. It has all the videos and it has all of it. The only thing it doesn't have is the questions. All right. So over here, there's you can do one. We're using flow maps again. So here's a checklist if you want to include. Kind of just make sure it helps you make sure that you included everything when you submit it. You could either you'll either, you'll either see a choice of having one line, two lines of drumming routine and workout, meaning one four exercises. This, this two one has four plus four is eight. If you click on the Nearpod, the Nearpod is very similar to the Pear Deck. It just should be a little bit more easier to access. So when you sign in, it's just taking a second to load, but when you when you click it, you just write your name. And you can sign in, and this will be a way for me to act, see that you're. So, for example, okay, Mr. H, when I join the session, and then I go through it. Here's the same, same exact thing like Google Form. Here's the question; it's right there. This way, I'll be able to know. This one's cool because you can record. I'm recording an answer. I'm recording an answer. And that will be totally suffice. And it tells you the same flow of the lesson. This week is the warm up, the dance play warm up. Hopefully, you do it. And you have a question. You click the answer, and then you press, then you press submit. Here's a video, speed video, which is great, and has a, another question. And this will be easier for you to type the question right then and there. So here's the video explaining how I do drumming. Here are two videos to explain, to give you kind of some inspiration. So this is what I was talking about. So whether you have one line, two line, or three, you're using a template to make your own cardio drumming routine. Each box is a different exercise and different counts. So like the first one, I drew a picture, left, right, taps. I'm doing it eight times, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then I move to another one. I can do more tapping, I can do jumping jacks, I can tap on the side of the ball, tap on the top of the ball. Really, the sky's the limit. Really, there's no... so. The next is if you want to draw on here, I'm going to click that one. Just made a circle just for a show. If you want to do two, now it's going to ask you open ended um, did your strength or increase? How do you know? It's going to ask you. So, was it tricky to do? Would you do it again? Would you like to make more? So that when tomorrow we go live, or that this way you can show others, and I would love to post some videos or some pictures of what other people did if you feel comfortable with it. And that's certainly one of the options. Now, in the end, there's going to be, I know Ms. Mendez started using it, called Flipgrid. Flipgrid is really good because on the app, here's the video, the same one over here, you can, it will take you right to your top, you sign in. And you're able to want to, if you want to take a video of you doing your drumming routine or just take a picture, it will allow you to do that just like it is right now. And it will post right to that website. So I'll be able to see that you submitted it. Please, when you do submit your work, please just sit in the comment box. Just write, put a comment, I submitted it. If you want to use the if you want to use the Nearpod, if you want to use PDFs over here, you're certainly more than welcome to. If you want to do all of it, that's awesome as well. If you want, I want you to hopefully do it more than once. 
And so if, please, if you still have any questions, please reach out to me on Google Classroom or Class Dojo. And this new Nearpod should be hopefully a little bit easier to access and use than Pear Deck. And I hope you have fun drumming.